Hey guys, you all know that recently Bell, that is the Bharat Electronics Laboratory and also a Navratna PSU announced the recruitment for the year 2023. You must be aware about this. If not, let us know the complete details in this particular video and not only the complete details, let us also talk about the preparation strategy because it is a recruitment without the gate examination, a separate written, a separate computer based test is announced for it. So when is that test? Okay, you know how you should be preparing for this test and etc, etc. Let's talk about some strategy, the important areas to focus for this particular uh, exam. So let's get started. Started, guys the big headline uh, you know the bell seeks application from zealous and budding professionals okay for, for the post of professional engineer okay 205 so it, it's it's a good number uh, you know 205 engineers to be recruited and then there are some hr officers and accounts officer post that is not much relevant for you guys of course now let's talk about you know you know big question in every aspirant's mind how do you act how much you're actually going to get okay the pay and allowances Okay, so it's it's going to be, of course, really good because it's a Navratna PSU. Okay, so uh, probation, you are going to be recruited as probationary engineer. Okay, on to the executive two level. So it can be a good start to your career. The pay scale for E2 is 40,000 to 140,000. And then the CTC that, you know, let's talk about the main CTC that this bill is going to offer you is 12 to 12.5 lakhs per annum, of course. And there will be several other benefits, of course, which PSUs employ will always enjoy. So it's not, you know, whenever you are targeting a PSU, Okay, whether you're joining through gate examination or whether you're even fighting for the written, separate written examination, keep in mind, okay, two important factors. Of course, this number itself is good. Okay, 12 to 12.5 lakhs, but number one, any benefit other than the CTC, you should always remember, number one is what? The additional, the additional services that you get. Okay, and number two is the job security and job safety. That is the must you should think about, especially in this competitive area era. Okay, so you get the DA, HRA, convince, alliance, performance related pay, medical reimbursement, all those things. So, you know, so a lot of savings is already done. Okay, so the CTC enhanced is like enhanced. Okay, and also job security and don't, don't forget this. Okay, now let's talk about the breakage of those vacancies. As I told you, there are 205 vacancies. Out of the major latest for electronics and communication and it's expected for Bell especially. So 124 is for electronics and communication, 63 is for mechanical and 18 is for computer science educational qualification. Of course, for, you know, for relevant branches, you need the relevant BE, BTEC, okay, or even BSc graduates are allowed for this particular examination. Okay, now, okay, the eligible qualification also, other than the branches I mentioned, Okay, so you know they are asking for the first class in BE, BTEC, BSc from AICT approved colleges. Okay, in these specified branches already, which we have talked about. So important point in this slide is that you require a first class degree. Okay, and uh, also if you are holding a first class degree and AMEI, AMEIT, these are also approved colleges in the above discipline are also eligible to apply. Okay, so now the important updates. Next important updates: age criteria. Okay, so age criteria is a slight concern here because the maximum age limit for unreserved, that is a general candidates, okay, as on 1st November, 1st of September 2023 is 25 years, is 25 years. Many aspirants will fall under that, but unfortunately some can miss out because of the age criteria. Okay, now definitely it is relaxable by 5 years for SCST and 3 years for the OBC non criminal candidates as a... Uh, as always okay and there are some more relaxations like for the P uh, pwbd candidates the upper age limit is relaxed by 10 years okay now place of posting just for general information ultimately this should not be a very big criteria uh, while you are choosing your career it should be all about the work location uh, sorry the work culture okay the nature of the work your jobs and responsibility the ctc the job security they are more important rather than the place of Posting, okay, but still these are the place of posting they have mentioned for this particular recruitment. It will be Bangalore, Ghaziabad, Pune, Hyderabad, Chennai, okay, Machipatnam, uh, okay, Panchkula, Kodwara and Navi Mumbai. So majorly good locations are there. Okay, so that's also not a concern here. Now last date to apply. Okay, if you want to appear in this examination, the last date is 28th of October. Okay, so still uh, there are some good number of days left and application fee if you talk about, okay, it's rupees 1000 plus GST that is 1180 is the net amount you have to pay. Okay, the candidates belonging to general EWS, OBC, non criminal are required to pay this application fee. Only these particular candidates are required to pay the fee. Rest will be exempted. Now selection process what they have mentioned, it's going to be a two stage selection process. Number one, CBT. Okay, that is the computer based test clearly mentioning online. 
okay and followed by an interview okay now they haven't given any exact date of the cbd but they have clearly mentioned okay and if they have mentioned so we can count that okay we almost around that it will happen so tentatively it will be held in the month of december that is what they have clearly mentioned that this is going to be tentatively held in the month of december tentatively held in the month of december right ji okay so be prepared for it the cbd that is going to be held tentatively in the month of the december now some important highlights of this computer based test some important highlights of this computer based test okay so uh, <laughs> to be honest i'll tell you the important areas but they haven't again given the pattern okay but they have mentioned that the discipline specific that is the technical subjects will be there and they have clearly mentioned okay general aptitude also as a part general aptitude and out of general aptitude i would again say reasoning play, will play a more important role rather than quant and verbal part so be more prepared about the reasoning i hope that they soon will release once they give the exam of the date they give the exam pattern okay sometimes some psu still keep it as suspense but i expect that they might come up with the exam pattern number of questions and all those things but even if they don't come up it's a technical and aptitude based examination just like what gate is so what technical subjects you have to focus more and more on the gate subjects uh, that is there but if there is any update about the cbd the pattern the uh, the negative marking or the exact syllabus i'll definitely uh, be updating it to you okay so now uh, in the shortlisting procedure, there is one more condition that they have mentioned. Okay, that if you belong to general OBC, EWS and EWS, uh, e ESM, they, you have to have a minimum of 35% to clear the CBD. Okay, minimum 35% is essential. Okay, suppose, suppose none of the student gets, what is the meaning of this? Suppose none of the student gets above 35%, nobody called for interview. Okay, they want to fill 100 post. Okay, they will be calling 500 candidates for the interview. That is also clearly mentioned. Of course, this should be 30% if you are SCST. So, uh, interview clearly there is a criteria mentioned. Based on the performance and written test, candidates will be shortlisted for interview in the ratio of 1 is to 5. Okay, suppose they want to select 100 candidates, they will be calling 500 candidates for interview. Okay, but all those 500 candidates must have got that 35% marks at least. Okay. Suppose only 100 candidates got the 35% criteria. They will only call 100 for interview and then that means all 100 are selected. But it's a very minimum um, percentage. I'm just giving an example. What is the meaning of this statement? Okay, you can easily par get par with this particular statement at 35%. And then the students are called in the ratio of 1 is to 5. Right, like 200 vacancies are there approximately. 1,000 interviews will, 1,000 students will be called up for the interview procedure okay now what should be your preparation roadmap okay so any competitive exam will involve three important elements that you should be doing but now exam is tentatively in the month of december okay as i told you the exam is tentatively in the month of december and we are already in the october okay october beginning so you have roughly roughly two to two five two 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 and a half months left okay Roughly two to two and a half months left for this particular examination. Okay. Now, of course, in this two to two and a half months, okay, uh, you know, those who are going to get benefit, those who are already prepared for GATE and ESC. Okay. So, what is number one thing that you have to target here is the conceptual clarity. Okay. The conceptual clarity. Now, again, that's what I told you the first point. You can't be really, you know, you can't really prepare from scratch right now because it's only two months approximately. Dohi mahine count karke chalte hai. But those who have prepared for GATE or ESC or any other exam, be it like ISRO, NILIT, HL, you have prepared recently. Okay, so what you need to do right now is brush up your concepts. Okay, the paper is going to be easy level. Okay, the paper is going to be easy to moderate. Okay, but mostly towards easy. It will not be difficult. The reason behind that is even BSc graduates are allowed to write down. Okay, so they cannot match the level directly with the gate. And see, after a long time, Bell is you know recruiting for full time post for permanent post through a separate written examination. But if you look into the previous you know, papers of Bell. Okay, you'll get the idea. It is mostly on the easy to moderate side. Difficult nahi hoga. Okay, and reason again, I let me tell you. Of course, it's a limited time examination. But on the other side, because of BSc candidates also being eligible to write the same examination. Okay, paper will definitely be expected of the moderate level. Okay, the paper will definitely be expected of what? Of the easy to moderate level. Okay, mostly on easy side. So, you just need to brush up your concepts.
sorry so yeah you just need to brush up your concepts okay and you know do some practice now for practice okay you should be mostly targeting okay practice ke liye you should be mostly targeting okay one marker gate question okay plus the esc prelims question okay the esc prelims question okay or if not esc prelims either is or any one of them if you are able to do both see i'm telling you if you have already uh, done the preparation one so it will not take much time to brush up your concepts so first you know take up subject to subject brush up the concepts really quickly that that is do the revision okay and go for one marker gate question and any one of them if you get time do go for both esc prelims plus isro okay then okay then two marks gate question if you think ye sab hone ke baad aapke paas time hai okay i can call this as optional activity i can call it as the optional activity if you feel time that you know after completing all esc prelims and isro questions and one mark gate questions if you still have time okay go for two marks gate question just to be assured ki that if there are some good questions coming up that also you are able to handle up okay so this is what your practice should include okay so just you have to brush up your gate concepts go through the notes okay i would suggest you ki you know if you are directly revising now after the gate examination or esc examination it's been a few months so go through the detailed notes okay rather than just brushing up the short notes okay because you have studied D detailed notes also will not take life i'm just asking you to revise the detailed notes okay not studying a subject for first time but if you have already uh, been preparing uh, like like for isro or hal recently and you're already uh, you know good with the concept so just you can brush up through short notes as well it depends you know but agar thoda time ho chuka hai padhai ko to then thoda time means if it was just this gate or esc examination few months back you appeared then just revise the your notes once quickly okay once quickly at least for the core areas and there are some subjects in the bell exam okay looking into the previous history also and looking into the nature of work at bell let me tell you that there are few areas which are important what are they i will just going to tell you i'm just going to tell you don't worry okay so uh, you know the practice is going to play a good role here okay so quickly you know small some time to rush up the concepts and this is what is the practice uh, that you should be focusing on okay and then i'll also be uh, planning let me see how many bell previous year questions i get if i get a good collection okay and i'll i'll, I'll come up and uh, discuss these with you okay and then the next definite area is the test to so go for some particular test if you are able to find some bells test especially okay you know online you can appear for that otherwise okay some basic test of gate also if you have the gate test series or esc test series go for it okay okay go for it for the gate subject even if you are going for a esc test series so no need to go for the extra subjects okay at least the gate subjects you should go for few tests okay few test okay majorly practice is going to play a major role here but few test just to you know again set you into that exam mood because test will set you in the exam mood will help you assess your speed will help you manage the time and all those things will be important okay will be important okay now what are the important subjects especially for ec okay of course go through the gate syllabus okay revise completely but what are the important subjects you know expected if i i've i've gone through some previous years uh, okay they were old but from previous year papers of bell and also at the same time looking into you know what sort of work tronics aspirants are uh, you know required to do there digital circuits is definitely going to be important for you okay okay especially the sequential circuit part okay the logic family adc dac part take ye acche se kar lena okay and then i have excluded this microprocessor all questions will also be expected in this examination okay then analog circuits okay you know complete be diode circuits or be transistors bjt mosfet everything op amp everything important analog circuits will be very important here okay both analog and digital actually microprocessor not very much important but you will expect question from here isko alag se isliye likh raha hu because you have not prepared this for gate now it is removed you just try to prepare for here okay then communication systems is going to be important okay uh, edc edc analog of course both okay measurements now this is again one area which electronic students don't study for gate if you have prepared for esc you must have prepared it but for gate you have not prepared so some fundamental uh, you know brushing up the easy questions of measurements i already told you know easy means what gate one marker question also revise your concepts if you are you know not having directly the notes of measurement take it out from some electrical students borrow from them and you can manage it up and emft these are going to play a important role okay these are going to play a important role out of that you know major important role will be digital analog communication okay and if i talk about emft okay from the emft uh, let me tell you the microwave isko separate bhi likh sakte okay the microwave part 
okay, which will include waveguide and etc. and antenna, this will be a little bit more important as compared to the regular EMT topics. You don't expect much, okay, I, I don't think you're going to get much questions from wave propagation part and all, okay, but the microwave part, the waveguides, okay, antenna, okay, from here, uh, you can expect good questions, communication systems, analog circuits, digital circuits. Only reason I've written microprocessor measurement, it's not like it's going to be in bulk question, but this is, you know, something out of gate syllabus for electronics, so you have to focus it up because some questions will be there. That is why I've written this in the important list. Okay, then some fundamental concepts of EDC will be there. But whatever is most, most important, I have highlighted that. So, you know, you can keep a track of your preparation accordingly. Inko practice karna hai. You have to revise it up completely and practice at least this with very sound. Okay, with sound practice. Practice means the same set I told you. Okay, I'm not telling you sound practice for bell means very difficult question. But yeah, complete practice has to be there for these particular subjects along with every particular concept learned uh, with the theory and with the concept. Some questions in bell will be, you know, uh, theory and uh, factual based as well. Okay, so you can be prepared accordingly. Okay, so this will be the list of important subjects for electronics and communication. Uh, aspirants okay so hope this small video uh, on bell uh, gave you some insights ke, you know how you should be preparing that two two and a half months time what should be your target and what are the important areas especially to focus on and other than the sure. preparation strategy we have talked about the complete exam detail as well okay ki, uh, what are the uh, essential requirements of the exam and how is the nature of exam any more details if bell provides regarding to this computer based test okay be it the syllabus be it nature of exam be it any 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 details because they haven't mentioned any details, but they have clearly mentioned it's going to be your specialization, your branch plus general aptitude both. Okay, but if any further details is there, we'll definitely I'll try to update you and notify you, you so that you are clear, uh, you're clear that what type of exam going to face. All the very best. Okay, time is still there. Keep preparing hard. Good opportunity. Okay, uh, 205 force, especially for electronics 124. Don't miss it up. It's a good opportunity to be directly starting your career as executive to uh, level probationary engineer. Thank you. Stay safe and stay subscribed to Baiju's exam prep.